Hello everyone, let's talk about fractions, decimals, and percents. Fractions, decimals, or percents ay pareho lang yan, um, part of a whole. Kaya, merong equivalent value bawat isa. So, simulan natin with this one. Okay, 23 hundredths. Kung isulat yan in decimals, okay, um, pareho lang ang pagbasa nito in fraction at saka yung decimal. So, kung sasabihin mo 23 hundredths in decimal, this is just, ayan, 0.23 kasi um, hanggang sa hundredths place siya, di ba? So, kapag babasahin ang decimal, babasahin mo yung number, 23, and then banggitin ang huling decimal place, di ba? So, this is 23 hundredths, this is 23 hundredths. And, uh, madali lang i-convert ang fraction to decimal Kung ang denominator niya is 100 or 10, lilipat mo lang yung decimal point. So, mula dito, supposed to be yung decimal point ng any number, lipat mo lang ng isa, dalawa. Kasi dalawang zero dyan, di ba? So, divide by 100. So, mula dito, isa, dalawa, nandito yung decimal point. And percent, ang ibig sabihin lang ng percent is percentum per 100. So, ibig sabihin, per 100, eh di kung 100 dito, diretso na yan. Per 100, then tatanggalin mo lang yung 100, palitan mo ng percent symbol. So, this is 23%. Ganun lang. Ba? Now, kung sakali ang binigay ay percent, gagawin mong decimal, eh di tanggalin mo lang yung uh, percent sign and then move ng 2 decimal places. Kasi any number ay nandito yung decimal point, diba? So, move ka ng isa, dalawa. So, you now have the decimal uh, value, so, 0.23. And then, para magiging uh, fraction nito, okay, tatanggalin mo lang yung decimal point. So, isa, dalawa, and then 23, 100 na yung, ano niya, uh, denominator. So, another uh, example. Okay, 17%. Uh, the 17 over 100, diba? And then, 17 hundredths. Kaya, ayan lang ang equivalent niya. Another one, 5%. So, 5%, this is just 5 over 100, di ba? And, in decimal, sabi ko nga, move ka ng isa, dalawa. Mula sa percent para magiging decimal, di ba? So, mula dito, isa. At dahil kulang na yung isa, dagdagan mo ng zero, bago pa ilagay yung decimal point. So, mula dito again, isa, dalawa. Okay? And then, Para sa fraction, this is just 5 hundredths, diba? So, sulat mo dito as 5 hundredths. So, 5 over 100. And then, reduce to lowest term, this is just 1 over 20. Reduce lang natin to lowest term, ha? So, divide lang natin by 5, divide by 5, and you got 1 over 20. Alright, 9 hundredths. Eh, kung 9 hundredths yan, okay, Madali lang ito sa percent. Diretso na yan. 9 hundredths. Kasi 100 na yun nasa baba niya, diba? So, 9%. And, mula dito, move ka lang ng isa, dalawa. So, you have 0 0.09 in decimal. Alright? Okay, another one. One half. Another way to do this sa one half is, i-divide mo lang to in long division. So, 1 divided by 2. Yun yung long division, di ba? Or, gagawin mo lang 100 dito. So, times natin ng 50, that is now 50 hundredths. So, ayan, this is just 50%. Kung 100 na yung baba niya, diretso mo na 50%. Pwede na. And then, for decimal, 1, 2, move ng dalawa, and then you have 0.5. Now, bakit nawala yung 0? Kasi, yeah. Any zero after the last digit na hindi zero ha, pwede mo nang tanggalin. So kahit pa mag-calculator ka dito 1 divided by 2 doon sa calculator, ito lang lalabas. Walang lalabas na 0.50. Pero kung sakali ang sagot mo ay 0.50, okay? Okay lang 'yan. Tama lang 'yan. Okay? Kung totoo 'yan, 50 dito na kalagay eh, 50. Hindi eh, ma'am dapat 0.50 ren, Okay. Pwede na rin. Okay. So, pwede nyo tanggalin yung zero. Pwede rin hindi. Okay. Pero, um, mas maganda talaga is 0.5 muna. Okay. So, depende. 
Okay? Uh, anyway, I will consider it. Sige, 0. 0.5 or 0. 0.50. Okay. So, 20%, that is just, Okay, point two ulit. Pareho dito. Pwede mo nang tanggalin yung zero ha. Kasi mula dito, isa, dalawa. So, isa, dalawa. Okay, so supposed to be may zero dito. Diba? Pero tinanggal na natin. Again ha, any zero kasi after dito, pwede mo nang tanggalin. Kasi hindi na babago ang value niyan. Okay? And then, you have two tenths. Kung mabasa nito, this is two tenths. Okay? So, two tenths. Reduce natin to lowest term. This is just... One fifth. Another one. Now, ngayon, one fourth. So, gagawin natin 100 ang baba. Okay? So, this is 25 over 100. Okay? Now, siguro sasabihin, ma'am, bakit dito ginawa mong one fifth? Dito, tigwa 100 naman. Okay? Ito kasi binigay una, di ba? And then, huli ito. So, usually, if you're going to give your answer, it should be in lowest terms, di ba? Now, since dito nagsimula tayo with fraction, kaya ginawa natin 100 dito para makuha mo dito. Okay? So, okay magtaka, bakit na iba dito? Okay? So, since ito naman, inuna natin yung 1 fourth, okay? Para makuha mo yung decimal at saka percent, gawin mo 100 ang baba. So, this is now 25 hundredths. Yan, diretso na, di ba? And then, 25%. Yan. So, wala tayong problema kung dalawa ang uh, digits dito. Maliban lang dito kasi gagawin natin uh, 100 yung baba. Okay? Now, next, we have 0.125. Now, paano ngayon yan? Alright. Now, sa ano naman, okay? Um, from decimal naman, 2%. Now, since nag... Uh, since nagbibilang lang tayo ng 2 decimal places, okay, ganun lang din para gagawin mo siyang percent. Bilang ka rin ulit ng 2 decimal places. Kaya lang, pakanan ka na ngayon. So, 1, 2. So, this is now 12.5%. Okay? So, ulit ha, 1, 2 lang para magiging percent dito. So, from percent para magiging decimal, move ka lang din ng 1, 2. Okay? So, itong percent to decimal, pakaliwa. Itong decimal to percent, pakanan ka. Okay? And then, 125 over 1,000. And then, this is just 1,8. Okay? Kung reduce natin to lowest term, that is just 1,8. Alright? So, 137%. Okay, so move ulit ng isa, dalawa, it's just 1.37, and then in fraction, it's 137 over 100. So, this is an improper fraction. So, pwede ang percent ay sumobra sa 100%. Okay, so 100% ay buo lang yan. Ibig sabihin, um, walang bawas. So, 100 over 100 lang yan in fraction, and that is just equal to 1. Okay. Right. These are the common fractions and their corresponding values. So, pwede nyo na sa uluhin para mas mabilis kung sakaling may lalabas na questions regarding this common fractions. So, una. Yan. So, the equivalent decimals and percent. So, una, we have one half. It's 0.5, 50%. Kalahate. Okay. One third, it's 0.33 and um, ano ito? Uh, repeating non-terminating decimal. So, yan, lagyan natin ng bar sa taas. Ibig sabihin nun, um, hindi natatapos, di ba? Paulit-ulit ang 3. And then, this is just 33%. And then, we have 1 fourth, okay, 0.25. And then, this is 25%. And then, 1 fifth is 0.2, okay, and then 20 percent. Then, 1 eighth is 0.125. This is just point at 12.5 percent. And then, 3 fourths, kung titignan mo, 1 fourth ay 0.25. Ay, di tatlo lang nito. Diba? So, this is 0.75 and then 75 percent. So, most probably, you will meet this uh, common fractions. And then, mabilis na lang tandaan kung ano yung mga equivalent decimals and percents. Alright?